Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm so glad to have you. Today is Monday and it's kind of an exciting day. I actually have a lot planned for today. Obviously it's a work day, Monday, back on the grind. Um, but I figured I would start off with making a coffee because that's just what we do. I already made avocado toast for breakfast, which was delicious, but I decided to start the video now. And I thought that I would show you how I make my brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk, like the one from Starbucks. Because over the weekend, I got the Starbucks shaken espresso with oat milk and brown sugar. And I was like, oh my gosh, this tastes exactly like the one I make at home. And I'm still going to go to Starbucks and get it, but just the fact that I know how to make it at home makes me super happy because it is a really good drink. And if you've watched any of my past videos, you know how obsessed with oat milk and brown sugar I am right now. It's just like so good in coffee. So let's get into it. You do need an espresso to make it like this or just like probably an espresso machine because I feel like that's how it tastes the best. I've tried doing like the same type of recipe in like my um, Mr. Coffee coffee maker, like for iced coffee. I just had coffee a lot. Um, <laughs> but it just didn't taste the same. So if you can figure out a way to do it, let me know. But this tastes exactly like Starbucks. So I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through what you need to make the brown sugar shaking espresso with oat milk. I like mine espresso to get espresso from. So if you don't have one of those, you're gonna just need some type of way to get espresso. Then I use these Starbucks blonde espresso roast Nespresso pods. At Starbucks, they use blonde espresso, so that's why these are perfect. Then you'll need a mason jar with a lid or something to brew your coffee in that you can shake because we're actually gonna be shaking this. You'll need brown sugar and some cinnamon. Obviously we need oat milk, Chobani extra creamy is my favorite. And lastly, we'll need ice because this is a delicious iced coffee. So let's get started. I put this right underneath here. This is a brand new box of these because I literally have made 10 of these iced coffees because they're so good. So before I brew the coffee, I actually take about a tablespoon of brown sugar and stick it right in there. And then I brew it. I use, I brew twice. So there's two shots of espresso. All right, now that we have our two shots of espresso, I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon now. I add some ice cubes to this, probably about four of the bigger sized ice cubes. And then this is the part that is the most important. You add the mason jar lid and shake it. So that helps to cool down the espresso, but it also gives you a really nice foam. But then pretty much a lot of my ice has melted, so I will add more to it now. And then this also, the ice also takes up a lot of room in my cup. So I can then just top it off with oat milk. And then the last thing I do is another little sprinkle of cinnamon on top. Then the best, best part is sticking my straw in and giving it a spin. It's so good. So like, I'm totally not kidding. It really does taste like Starbucks. Like I make all my other iced coffees at home and I still like crave going to Starbucks. But some days, like, I honestly am, like, content with having this as a coffee at home. The only, like, downside of this coffee is I like a huge coffee. And this is, like, small for me. <laughs> Which I'm sure for a lot of people it's not small. 
So I do the two shots of espresso in here. I run it through the same pod twice, which is kind of like more of a money saving option because I could just do two new pods and they'd be super potent because I think the second one kind of is diluted a little bit, but it's okay because I mix it with ice anyway and that dilutes it. So, but that whole box of pods is about $10, which makes each pod about a dollar a pod. So honestly, like that whole recipe is like so cheap compared to going to Starbucks and getting even like a grande of it or a tall, I guess, because I think a tall would be two shots. I think it goes two, three, four for size wise because I normally get a venti. So I'd basically be drinking like two of these, but one is fine for me. So yeah, if you have some way to make, I feel like it just tastes the best with espresso since it like at Starbucks, it is a shaken espresso. I do like the creamer I talked about in, I think two videos ago. That's a really good alternative. I haven't figured out like a syrup yet. I actually seen that like at, um, I actually seen some people buying syrups from Starbucks. So like part of me kind of wants to go and buy the brown sugar syrup from Starbucks. But yeah, at some point in my life, I kind of want to just own like an espresso machine instead of the Nespresso. Like that one's my sister. So obviously like I'm not going to have that forever either. <laughs> but um, I want to own like an actual espresso machine because I feel like it would be so fun to like make more types of drinks at home. Like that would fill my heart with joy. I would always be like shaking, <laughs> making, I would always be like making a shake in espressos. Um, so yeah, that is how I make my drink that I've been obsessed with. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and do some work and then I'll check back in with you in a little bit. All right, so we had a little bit of change of plans. I ended up going out to eat with my cousins, which was so much fun. But now I think I'm gonna stop really quick at Dollar Tree. I get my second dose of the vaccine in two days and I heard that you should start like upping your fluid intake. So I'm gonna stop and see if I can find some good stuff to drink or whatnot and i feel like dollar tree is the best bet although i feel like i've seen like gatorades and stuff at like meyer and walmart for cheaper but we're gonna stop there really quick and see if we can find some cool stuff to help us get through the second dose of the vaccine although i have heard that if you had covid it's much worse and i'm good on that end but I do drink a lot of water anyway, so that's good, but I want to get some Gatorades or something just to do that. So let's run to do a quick Dollar Tree stop really quick because I feel like that is the move. <laughs> We're gonna do a mini Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, I wanted to get some stuff to like boost my electrolytes, boost my hydration. First, we got this Glacier Cherry Gatorade. I tried to get a variety, cool blue. I don't like love Gatorades, so I was like, let's try to find one that we like. Then Fruit Punch. So I'll drink probably like one of those every day, maybe. Then, I think I want to maybe save this one for like the day of the shot because this is antioxidant hydration with electrolytes. So I feel like this is just the same thing as Gatorade, but it sounded kind of good. It's mixed berry. Hopefully it is good. So we got that. Then I also seen some girl on TikTok drinking emergencies. And I thought that that was like a really good idea just because it literally has antioxidants, B vitamins, and electrolytes. Am I gonna shock my system with so many electrolytes? Probably. I might chill. No, it'll be fine. I think I might go home and drink one of these. I brought four packets. So we'll see how this goes. I don't, I think, I remember when we were younger, we were flying on a trip somewhere and <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone I know thought that this was like a pill that you were supposed to take and they just put it in their mouth and they started foaming at the mouth. <laughs> so we'll try these in some water today. Then 
I wanted to get a new toothbrush and toothpaste anyway, but look at how cute this toothbrush is. It's like a peach and a purple color, and I just grabbed some Colgate. <laughs> I've never really heard of this brand of toothbrush, but it looked nice, and I literally just got it because it was like a peach and a purple toothbrush, and that's what you get at the Dollar Tree. Then lastly... I saw these and I could not resist grabbing them. I do not need candy, but I wanted to try them. Like this one is a cotton candy Mike and Ike's. And then this is root beer flavored and I'll probably give them to like my mom or dad because they are gluten free. So my mom can try them as well. So I feel like my dad will definitely appreciate root beer, but I wanted to try the cotton candy ones and I definitely was like, I like root beer too. I haven't had root beer in the longest time because I don't drink pop anymore. So they just look so good. And then me and the lady were chatting about the candy aisle in Dollar Tree and it was funny. Who doesn't love the candy aisle in Dollar Tree? So now I'm gonna go home, drink my emergency. Hopefully my package will be here. I'm getting a new camera. If you've seen by the title of this video, hopefully it came. I want to check the shipping. So far, Amazon has not said it came yet, but it is supposed to be delivered sometime today between 2 and 6, and it's currently 3, so it could come anytime now. But I ordered it from Amazon. It's the M Canon M200, and I'm just excited. Michael maybe is the one who purchased it for me because we both wanted a camera, so we've bought the other one together and we're gonna buy this one together too but he's just the one who has the money right now to buy it so he bought it for me at the time at the time being and we're both gonna have a new camera to shoot more content because he wants to start up his youtube channel as well so hopefully the next clip is me opening my brand new camera Guys, guys, it's here. I like went and sprinted to get it. And so I figured I would unbox it with you on video because I'm so excited. Let's open this bad boy up. I can't see anything at all. Let's see, ow. <gasps> Ooh, she's beautiful. Okay, so like I just said, this is the Canon M200, which I've done a little bit of research on different cameras and stuff. Right now we have the Sony Alpha 6100 and they're both mirrorless cameras with like detachable, exchangeable lenses. So, I don't know. I'm not really going to set this up or anything. I'm just going to, like, show you what comes in here. Because I'm not, like, a review person or anything. I'm just doing a fun unboxing. Because I'm excited. Is this? Oh, okay. So, right off the bat, it comes with a little battery charger. Which is completely different from what I have right now. Then, let's see. This is the lens. I'm going to take that out and look at that. But it doesn't, like, close as much. But that is cute. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can never put the caps back on. There's that. Let's just get to the main attraction. This is so thin compared to the Sony that I have. Oh. I kind of am obsessed with how small it is. It's not as like wide and bulky and chunky. That is so cute. This screen is much bigger. There's not as many gadgets over here. Oh, it flips right up. It doesn't do the whole, it's so compact and light. Oh 
my gosh, I love it. I never actually really like tested these either. I just kind of am like, this is the one I want. So here's this cap. I have to put the lens right on, so I'm not gonna open it up because I don't want to get like fuzzy in there. So it's so cute and small. I don't even know if the battery's in here right now. It probably isn't. Yeah, there's no battery in it. So it comes without the battery. I don't know where the memory card goes either. Like, I actually don't know that much about this camera, I guess, as I thought I did. That must be the flash. Oh, this says card. And this says HDMI. Oh, yeah, okay. So the card goes right in there. There's also an HDMI port. I wonder if you can charge it. Like, how I can charge this other camera. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I shouldn't be like, oh my gosh, it's cute. Because it's like a camera. But I think it's cute. And I feel like, whatever. Alright, so the only other two things in here. Is the little strap. And the battery. I'm assuming the battery might come fully charged. Let's test it. So, we put this. Right in here. Battery slides right in let's see i might have let's just turn it on and see what it looks like it's not turning on maybe i should read the directions these are not in a language i speak english okay so it doesn't say anything like the battery was charged or not I'm assuming it's not charged. So we're gonna go charge it and I'll come back later. So now me and Abby are going to get ice cream. So my mom and dad want ice cream, so we're gonna go get ice cream. What kind of ice cream do you think you're gonna get? No. You have no more options in mind? I think I might get a cone with a dip flavor. That sounds kind of good. What, is, what sounds good for you? <laughs> That's not what I want, honestly. Are you gonna look at the menu for five hours? Yeah. It's also starting to rain. All right, Abby, what did you get? Cookie dough glacier. Cookie dough. I got this cherry thing that is literally melting all over and I didn't get napkins. And I have no napkins, so we gotta go. Okay, I did not forget about filming the rest of this. It is a little bit later. We did stop and get ice cream. It was pretty good. I put up a ring light just to make sure the lighting is good. I have the battery. It is fully charged. Have the camera. I please hope that it works. It goes in this way. <gasps> okay, it's on. We have to set the date and time, which I have my phone. I did it. So... It's not as automatic as this camera, obviously the price difference and everything, but this is really nice quality and I'm super excited. You can like put, it's touch screen. I actually have no, oh, record right here. I mean, we can't record because we have no card in. So what I'm going to do is turn this off. What I'm going to do now is switch cameras and see how it goes. I'm excited. So should we do like three, two, one? Let's try it. Three, two, one. Hey, oh, I'm drinking Gatorade. Here it is. Are we closer? Are we wider? I don't know. Is it better quality? I hope so. Can you hear me? We'll see afterwards, but this is it. It took me a little while to figure out the memory card situation because at first I thought you couldn't just like pop one memory card into the other. So I went and found my old memory card because I have two memory cards for my one camera. So I went and I found my old memory card and then I took everything off that memory card because I needed to reformat it for this camera apparently. And I had a bunch of random stuff on there from like Christmas and Thanksgiving and like pictures and stuff that I wanted to save. So then I couldn't find my hard drive and I was looking all over for my hard drive and then my dog was laying on my hard drive. 
Needless to say, I then put this memory card in here to reformat it and all the pictures popped right up on this one. So I don't know if maybe it's the type of memory card. Because at first I had put the other memory card in thinking I could just like interchange them. So maybe I should just use this memory card if I want to use both cameras at once. But we'll see. Uh, so far I'm like kind of loving this quality. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see in the post editing process and everything how it looks. But let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll make another video like comparing the two cameras that I have and after I've used this one for a while. So far I really like how small and compact this one is. I did notice that there are a lot of automatic things with my last camera where I actually have to do them. Like I have to physically take out the lens where that lens just like pops right out. That is a huge difference but I mean I have the same exact setup this one's like so bright it can like tell the sunlight and everything hopefully I figure out the mic situation too I haven't had any problems with that microphone anyway thank you so much for watching another daily vlog with me I can't wait for the summer to do tons of fun new things and basically all I'm waiting for is like the weather to get nicer it's starting to get nicer apparently it's gonna snow don't know if I've mentioned that it's gonna snow but once the snow and everything goes away we can get back outside we can start doing things I'm stoked thank you for watching this video I really appreciate it I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below let me know if you like the new quality of the camera. What kind of camera do you guys use? I've really been like researching cameras and just interested in cameras. Let me know. It's just fun. If you have a camera, even if you don't post on, if, even if you're not posting videos and you just like to watch my videos, let me know if you have a camera. <laughs> Other than that, make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.